because I could get his entire fist in my hole. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back with the gorgeous Callum McSpagulous. Hello. I'm, hey, Beach, how are you doing? I'm good, but I'm very worried because there's a coffee on the floor and you're going to kick it over. Uh, well, I should put it on your face. Don't you dare. Scolding coffee over <laughs> Callum's face. Oh my god, but. <gasps> scolding challenge. The scolding how challenge. How much burning water can you have on your face? <laughs> do you take this seriously? It's supposed to be a serious video. I know, it's a serious video about gay clubbing. So, Callum, do you remember your first ever time gay clubbing? Yes, I was very, very exciting. But, or, and terrifying as well, actually. No, before, you know, before, before I ever oh, went to a gay club. Club. Like me and my friend, we used to go to the gay club in the city, mm. and we used to like walk past it in the street and be like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when I first went, that feeling of going in there and just feeling like you're accepted and like, and you're allowed to be whoever you want was absolutely wonderful. Don't tell you what it was for me. I remember when I, when I first went clubbing. I didn't go clubbing like gay clubbing. Well, clubbing at all until I was like 20. So I was quite old, like for most people in the UK, because we can drink when we're 18 and stuff. It's like I remember just like walking out of being shit scared. I was so scared. My friend were like, we're gonna go get some money out, we're gonna go down the club, we're gonna be fine. And I remember walking towards the club and I could slowly hear the music get louder and louder. And then as you walk down, the, I could feel the pumping in my chest. And obviously, because I love dance music, I'm obsessed with dance music, I was like, this feels really good. I remember just going down there and looking around and like everything was just sort of vibrating. It was one of the most exhilarating moments of my life. Like, do you know when you come out and you have that feeling and it's like, <gasps> like you have that off? <gasps> it's like, <gasps> it's like that, but intensified. It was like that, but like a different, like a different version of it. I remember and it was the most exhilarating night of my life just being able to feel like Jesus Christ oh It wasn't God. even that big. Yeah. It's about the size of our living room. Yeah, yeah, because like it was the same for me like a little tiny little club And really like if I went there now, I'd probably be like this is shit <laughs> At the time just the fact that it was a, a like a gay establishment Yeah, was the most amazing thing and just like popping my pussy in there. I was like great But actually no because I wasn't like like fully like comfortable with myself then so I probably just went in and was like dancing like this <laughs> Whereas now we're like, yeah. <laughs> if my jeans ain't ripped by the end of the night, <laughs> I am. Oh my god, the amount of times you have split your jeans in heaven. So, when if we go heaven, me and Callum get, I mean, we get like really dirty with our dancing. And so the whole time, we're slut dropping on each other. And every single time we go out, he always ends the night by going, Roland, Roland, look, 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 Oh you might need God. to find another boy for that. <laughs> and, and, no, oh, there was this other time when we went out at Halloween, I was dressed as Black Spider Man. Yep. And I was wearing a jock strap underneath, which I often do. The Spider Man outfit split right down the back, so, like, the ass was on show. Uh, you were walking around with it out of nowhere. And we were standing up. We stood in the queue for the club, and this woman was behind us, and she was like, We can see your bum. I'm surprised I've not been arrested for public indecency. And you have, you just been so intoxicated, you just don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one of the very, very, very first times that me and you went proper clubbing. I just moved to London, and so we went clubbing, like, summertime last year. And we literally spent the entire night out. We didn't get home until 7 in the morning. Yes. And I had never done that, because in, in, like, Devon, the clubs close at, like, half 2. So you have to go relatively early. Uh, exactly, like fucking LA. So we didn't leave heaven until about, what was it, must have been about 5? I don't know. Yeah, and I don't know, what what did we do after that? I don't understand how We caught the night bus home. Oh, and then that's that's a grinder and now I kept getting <laughs> and then like when we got off we were walking for so long why did you make us get off the bus we got off at the wrong stop and, and we, we got it was like 45 minutes from the house the funny thing was that was the first time I really experienced all night clubbing because I've yeah. never done it before and like it sounds weird because I'm like 25 and I've never had this stuff so I'm like I'm a late bloomer Aww. oh it's a shame isn't it really get off me don't touch me syphilis syphilis but can we talk about LA oh my god because <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, American people, you do not know how to party. They do know how to party, but they just, they finish so early. Anyone in, like, America watching this, is this just an LA thing, or is this everywhere? I don't know. I because, feel like it's everywhere. Because we were in LA, and it was half past two. We went, we went to... No, no, it was quarter to two. It was quarter to two. <laughs> we went to dyke night at the Abbey, and so, like, all these lesbians there, and oh my god, okay, it's that entire night. 
me and Jamie were over nicking um, Ryan's house because we were saying goodbye to him because we were leaving the next day. I was getting text messages from him all night. Roland, where are you? They're not popping their pussy. Why is no one here popping their pussy? Why don't you come to us and pop our pussy together? So I was like, Jamie, okay, we should probably go now because Callum's losing his shit. So no <laughs> one was dancing! <laughs> I'm in the night, I, I go to a nightclub, I want to dance and everyone was just stood around. Uh. We were in the apartment and I was like, Callum, we're leaving in a minute. I'm, we were like, walking down to the Abbey. All of a sudden, I just hear this noise on the other side of the street and this person running up the street screaming. And I was like, Jamie, is that Callum? And then this Callum walking, running up the street going, Roland, where are you? Roland, no, I'm popping a pussy. Uh. First of all, what happens if we didn't see him? We would have got to the club thinking, where the hell is Callum? And then he's running up the hill looking for us. So we're lucky we found him. He's just screaming at us. No, I'm popping a pussy. No, I'm popping a pussy. No, I'm popping a pussy. So we spent the last like hour like dancing. I was completely sober, like completely sober. I've never gone clubbing sober before. But then again, it was like quarter two, the lights came on. And yeah, I was, like, we were like, what? What's going on? What is happening? Why are they turning the lights on? It's quarter to two, like we've just started our night. Okay, so I remember the first time I ever experienced like a dark room. And now I didn't know these things exist. I thought they were literally just like for TV. Like when I saw the Sex and the City and things, or like Queer as Folk, like they would always have these rooms. I was like, this isn't actually real, is it? When I went to Toronto in 2011, I went to this place called The Barn. It was like a three floored club. So like right at the top, there was like all sort of like the leather stuff and it was all fetishy-ish. And I went to the back of the room to like get some water where the bar was and to the left there was like this red sort of curtain like red room and I was like what's in there? Went in and I was like there are some funny noises coming from inside <laughs> and the whole room was like red like red lights everything and I was like what is going on? So I sort of peered around the corner and there are people literally having sex on the side and I was like I don't want to be in here! <laughs> I knew it existed because you've done it all the time. <laughs> is this stuff in London then? Are there things like that? Yes! <laughs> oh god it's gone really dark. Fuck you clown! You haven't come this whole time! A weird thing about heaven is like the bathrooms, like gender neutral bathrooms in a gay club are usually like the heart of the whole place and everyone's in there, everyone's like drinking and having fun in there but like I, f I feel like in heaven and in London that's not a thing. Do you know what I find really weird is toilet attendants. I find that so bizarre. Like, Can we tell the toilet? Oh my god! I forgot! Oh my god! So we're at this private event so the, the entire bar is booked out for this private event. Not gonna say what that was but yeah so private event and we, <laughs> our friends Hannah and Melanie, other YouTubers, um, we all wanted to get a selfie, but this place was really, really dark. So we thought, oh, we'll just pop into the girls' bathroom. This is a private event, there's no one there. And we went to take a selfie, and the toilet attendant got up and, like, started screaming at us. Like, no, no, you need to get out. We're like, like literally like this. Yeah, and that like, grabbing, grabbing me, like, literally digging her nails into my arms, like, shoving me out of the door. And it's like, like, we were the parasites. And, but can I just bear in mind? Whoa. As well, like I was on full face, I had my heels on, I was dressed up, I was in full girl, girl mode then. Like, I yeah. that was full on, that was like offensive. As far as I'm concerned, yes, I probably shouldn't have been in there, and I appreciate that. And she probably should have said, No, you get out, and I would have left. The fact that Roland was being forced out, I was like, Um, actually, I think Roland should be allowed to use this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a threat, <laughs> especially because it was a private event as well. Yeah, it like, wasn't like it was an open bar where anyone could go into the bar. Yeah, and there was no one in there, there was no one in there. <laughs> Yay, Kieran Eves is here! So, this is Kieran Eves, well, you know from my cooking videos. It's. F <gasps> uh, ruin the whole uh, thing! Uh, 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 uh. What was your first time, like, clubbing with a load of gay men and, like, sort of, you sort of felt like you were alive and you were sort of living? That's probably in London, to be honest. Um, so yeah, probably heaven. Yeah, you, maybe. I with think me. you me to heaven for the first time. Oh god, you corrupted I the poor Kieran! You're the heaven. reason he's nasty to me now! I took yeah. No, you've been to heaven before. Yeah, but I've got to heaven. Yeah, I think you took me to heaven for the first time. Yeah! I took the first time I went to heaven. It was 2011, and I went with all my friends like from Five Happy Brits. If, if any like, old school YouTubers watching me, Five Happy Brits, if you remember who that is, comment down below. So I went with all the guys on that channel, and like the first time I went to heaven, there was literally like a caged man on the side, like, like in bondage and stuff. Mental things on the stage. I went to the stage and took a picture with this like model and like a bikini scene. It was so it was so bizarre. And I was like, I'm so used to tiny club in Devon. And then I went yeah. to heaven and it was like this. And I was like, ah! uh. So I think we're gonna leave it there because we've gone on for such a long time. This is gonna be such a fun video. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we could do another part. Thank you for watching, guys. Go subscribe to these two fabulous people. I'll put links down below. And I'll see you very soon. Bye! Bye. I hate gay people. <laughs> Rocking horse, choking on corpse. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think you've misunderstood how the game works. Well, I mean, the whole point is that they rhyme, 